Okay. <laughs> um, so another another video about we don't know <laughs> what it's gonna be about. Um, it's just that maybe curiosity, what's gonna happen, happen or. Um, just finding ways of figuring out well, where is this need coming from, the need of, of, of recording these uh, videos. Um, sometimes in life we, we kind of find each other, we find ourselves um, in a place that we don't know really. <laughs> We, we really don't know what is uh, what we're doing <laughs> yeah uh, sometimes we do but then uh, we have those days that we we feel lost um so maybe that's why this is you know like trying to find a different way of of um experiencing those um, emotions experiencing experiencing those uh, thoughts and and feelings so yeah um, so today I had another day I had a day of really intense um, feelings special in my heart and uh, and it felt like uh, like something was just like it felt like a, it was a little bit painful. It was painful from inside, and then it actually happened at work, um, and I was just like kind of waiting. Oh, what is this? Like, what is this? Like uh, asking, asking questions. Like, what is this? And just asking for, uh, for guidance, for healing when there was no customers around. <laughs> uh, yeah, because. We can't really control what what is happening and um, whatever we we go, whatever we do. Uh, sometimes it can come by a surprise um, that suddenly something is something is really intense. We it happens that we have those situations that that uh, kind of trigger the emotion in us. So. Um, I guess with the yeah with with today's experience it was that um, that feeling of uh, um, energies of um, yeah um, I I it's like it, it feels like I want to call it love but it's not really love like but it. That feeling when we meet someone in life, that we think uh, that we we connected uh, for for you know for some reason there's something there happening like yay, and that um, that feeling that's quite intense. Um, to be honest, I I've experienced that a few times in my life that that uh, some people call it uh, falling in love and I think that's what it is um, so it happened to me a few times within the last two years um, that that feeling of that emotion that was so intense uh, and and, and that's something that kind of happens quite um, quite fast, and that you you don't really expect that, so it's like kind of unexpected. So um, the first time when that happened, uh, it was like wow, and then uh, it was just like um, that situation helped me to 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 kind of uh, take it different steps in my life, just to finding courage to um, to decide about certain things okay 
it was like that feeling give give, uh, give me courage to do something um, again the second time it was more like um, it it felt like it was it felt right and it felt more um, grounded and there was more trust with it and then um, yeah and, and it was that um, but yet there wasn't that much um, I would say awareness like maybe not awareness but um, no it was beautiful it was beautiful that's all I could say and the third time um, is interesting now because it's I can observe it it feels uh, it, it, it there are so many similarities like um, what happens like and it's it's that attraction and it's that uh, and it's that feeling and it feels you can feel it in the body and so it's like um, like you feel like there's something happening and and yet um, when you're now more I, th I think I'm now now I'm in that place where uh, that third I, I, I'm experiencing this actually have this like now in my life so um and it's like trying to understand the dynamics of of uh of like a female male energy or um connectedness love relationship um like what that really is like because do we really know what a real relationship is or maybe not real a relationship but um, what love really is and why do we seek that and um, out there um, why do we need to find it like out there with you know um, so yeah and it, it feels heavy it feels heavy talking about this it's like again like my mind is trying to find and figure it out and try to say something mm. it feels like it's again that transition that is like coming from the it's more like it's coming from here really um, so but where is this Okay, where is that connection now? Um, yeah, and um, Today I'm looking at the picture of uh, Yeshua, Jesus, um, yeah, I can share with you, with you, so that's the picture, okay, so I can show you what's back there, and it's beautiful, so that's the picture of Yeshua painting uh, uh, it was painted by um, Glenda Green, a woman who, who, uh, who has written a book on Jesus Speaks, <laughs> Love Without End. Um, yeah, and she 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 wrote like a book. I haven't finished it yet. I have started it. Um, 
and conversations with, with him. Uh, and she saw him and it, it was like he asked her to, to paint a bit that, that picture so people could actually see how he wanted to be seen more as a, you know, not on a cross, but um, I think this is just beautiful. Um, so, something that I could share is um, two days ago, a few days ago, I went for, there was a culture night. Mm, it was a culture night here in Dublin and um, and uh, and uh, even though I was working, I still wanted to, you know, go and do something, don't stay home again. So after work, I decided just to just to get the bus and I went to town and I, I kind of planned to to meet people from the Balfour group. Yet on my way there, um, on my way there, I kind of like, I felt like, oh, oh do I really want to go in uh, the crowds and people and music and I didn't feel like, I felt like it was too much. And then some voice like, just, just keep telling me, because I was like, it's like, you know, sometimes we talk t to ourselves in our head. So I was just um, talking to myself that okay oh my god you should go home why did you come here just go home and, and go to bed um yet the voice was saying no don't don't just go just keep going we have something for you and i was like okay but what is it no just keep walking keep walking and then uh, and then oh, okay well, i was just just uh, i kept walking and then um, i saw on the right it was the museum of art I was like, wow, I, it just felt like you want, I wanted to go. I was just, okay, that's the place I, I want to go. Um, so I went there and uh, there was that exhibition of this Spanish artist, I think. Um, but anyway, I got a, uh, I got a ticket and I, I didn't even know where I was going. They just told me to go to the uh, third floor um, and I just saw, you know, I got the ticket, I ran upstairs and I was like, boom, boom, boom. And, um, yeah, and part of me felt like, um, that maybe something nice can happen for me there. Uh, part of me had some kind of expectations, um, again, related to relationships. But when I got there, I was on the, on that third floor. I opened the door and I, and I saw like paintings, like loads of paintings, uh, with Jesus, with Christ, with the, with heaven, uh, with you know Mary Magdalene, and I was like, wow, <laughs> what is that? And but it's just like. The moment I, I saw this, it was like, okay, okay, I know now. So it was again that message that um, what you're looking for is here. So whatever you're trying to find out there, it's here with you, okay? So whatever you, you know, That longing that we have, I think it's, um, it's, it's, I think it's for that connection. Uh, however, we're gonna call it like um, the the energy of Yeshua came to me a um, while ago uh, with my Maori uh, practice. Um, yeah, and and somehow like Jesus wasn't really. Um, I wasn't really into, you know, Christian, Christ, Christianity or, or I didn't really want to go to church when I was younger. I don't think I really went to church <laughs> that much, but, um, cause it, it, it didn't feel right. 
and it feels like this energy now is kind of coming back the Christ energy mm. and it's like finding new new ways of connecting with this um, so yeah like our own ways um, and again if we allow ourselves to to see the signs we allow ourselves to see you know that something something is guiding us out there and then then you go to the gallery and and you want to you kind of expect to i know i don't know <laughs> uh you don't really expect to find jesus there okay <laughs> so it was beautiful it was beautiful and um to be there even though it was a little bit funny i could say because the paintings were i love the colors i love the colors and but some of them they were like uh, painted in that time that the faces and and the body wasn't really you know the proportions were weren't really uh, normal i would say um so <laughs> but it was funny in a in a good way I, it felt good okay it felt um fine um and that peaceful peaceful uh place um that the museum is if you go to the gallery or somewhere i highly recommend it just to give it a try and have a look on the on you know on the art of um whoever you come across and just explore yourself um yeah so it was like just finding that connection trying to find that um just remembering okay so stop looking out there and um, yeah so I, it's probably that if we've it, if we're looking for a connection out there it it kind of um feels like we're disconnected if you're looking for something out there uh it, like with the prayer when you pray for um for love um so it's like you pray for something that you don't have um but everything is here everything is inside of us so that connection is is here so it's maybe more just to remember to remember um that that we have this and maybe situations like that uh like those um just kind of they want us to remember um yeah and, and then like what do we do <laughs> What do we do then? Mm. And then we just um, we can ask the question, uh, and the answer will come. We can ask the question, and yeah, I will find the answer, and and the universe will give us whatever we need um, to explore to experience. Mm. And it could be that simple. And it's that's all we need. Like um, we don't need to try and find more to add to this. Yeah. So I guess that's uh, that's the guide. That's the guide. If you've met the sheep and the bear. <laughs> Um, another story is that a while ago, not that long time ago, maybe a month ago, yeah, it was like three weeks even ago, no, a little bit longer, when... Uh, 
when there was a kind of resistance in me for connecting with uh, Yeshua because it felt like um, it felt no what if this is another kind of cult or cult I don't know if that's uh, the word in English too but you know sect or something <laughs> hey we we think like this sometimes this is silly um, but I don't know yeah it could be so I was kind of um, yeah there was that, that doubt in me for what is this why why do I go this way but again that that um, I guess life will tell you what is right for you and what is not and if it's even not right if we even um, get trapped in the in the um, I don't know with some kind of gurus or teachers I guess this is also okay so it's easy for us to judge that uh, all those people you know we think like oh I'm spiritual oh, oh yeah I know my things I know my way and those other people they're like um, uh, they're either you know they're chanting or then dan they dancing on they they go to the church and and uh, and somehow it, it's when we think it's Mm. when we judge them we separate them so it's like this separation we create and if they are part of our reality because everything is connected so it's we separate part of ourselves so when we judge when we um, when we judge we we kind of take this like you know we're not whole we're not full like we're not complete but we also need this uh, separation to understand um, just to understand in our own way not in the teachers way not in our parents way society it's like finding our own answers to questions that we ask and then we won and then we are one so yeah so everything that is for us whatever we experience is is perfect for this moment whatever somebody else is experiencing even though we don't like it, we don't agree with this, we... It's fine. It's really okay. So seeing... Uh, beauty in... Uh, seeing beauty in that... process of... unfolding, <laughs> uh, you know? Yeah, transformation that's just beautiful so maybe we should just be happy for whatever it is in life um, maybe we should be happy for you know when the we know that things are happening in the world that not that brilliant right um, But if we just see or find a perspective that help us to understand that this is okay, this is okay, um, like accepting what is no matter what, because if we judge, if we, if we start to judge or get angry, upset, we start to um, disconnect again 
from ourselves when you start to disconnect um, and I think it's time to come back and uh, find that you know those things for us to to just just get back home and, and be whole complete and uh, and share that beauty yeah Mm. So let's just uh, let's just find our own ways. Yeah, that's my spaceship now, <laughs> so I have to go. <laughs>